Hi, this is Mathia Ford with Healthy Diet Menus for You, and tonight I'm going to talk about renal diabetic menu planning. I think it's important to understand why a good renal and diabetic diet plan is important to managing any renal failure you may have as a diabetic. A lot of diabetics eventually develop renal failure because it's very hard on their bodies, the amount of blood sugar, the amount of other things that are happening to them. They develop nephrop nephropathy, they develop eye problems, they develop kidney problems, they develop heart problems. So it's important to get it under control as much as possible. The food and beverages you take in will play a critical role in stabilizing your conditions. So managing your diabetes first and then also adding into it any restrictions for the renal um, part is very important. Loading your system with the wrong foods will only impede the success of any dialysis or medications. So if you overload with carbohydrate, if you eat too much protein, if you eat too much phosphorus at the wrong times of the day or different parts of the day, then you are going to put yourself in a situation where you're going to require more medications or um, more dialysis or just have to be there for longer. So. Anything we can do to slow that down, like starting with a good meal plan, like we have on our website at Healthy Diet Menus for You, is a good place to start, and getting control of that for a while will help you to control how successful your dialysis or medications are and make your life a little better to live so you can get out and do the things you want to do. The hard truth is that menu planning for kidney disease is not a choice, but it's a necessity. You need to do it, you need to watch what you eat, you need to watch the amounts, because the combinations of foods and beverages for renal diabetics is critical. You cannot just eat um, a bunch of sugary foods and expect it to not raise your blood sugar. You can't eat a bunch of protein and expect it to not hurt your kidneys if they're already damaged. So you really have to watch the amount of phosphorus and potassium and sodium that you eat. And you need to stick to a well-planned out meal plan, whether that's yours, your dietitian's, or one that you get on the internet. You need to come up with a plan and stick to it so that you know what you're supposed to do and you can um, see how your body reacts and then makes adjustments. Are renal menu plans hard to follow? Great foods and recipes are available for renal diabetics. And balancing your proper amounts of fluid, sodium, protein, and potassium are very important. It's very important that you eat the right amounts and the right types of foods. There are certain foods that as a, a diabetic and a renal diet you sh probably shouldn't eat. And then there's some foods that you can eat more of that won't cause you problems. And one of those is potatoes versus egg noodles or rice. You really shouldn't eat a ton of potatoes as a renal patient, but you can eat a lot of rice and um, noodles as a regular renal patient. But if you have diabetes, you have to also watch the amounts of those that you eat. Choose a meal plan that meets your specific health needs and stick with it, not as a diet plan, but as a new way of eating. So when you're looking at the portions, you're looking at what foods to eat, try to stick with it so you know that that's something that you can live with. If you need to get more information about a renal dialysis diet, we have a renal diabetic diet hub. We also have renal diets um, information for pre-dialysis and patients on dialysis on our website at Healthy Diet Menus for You. If you go there, you'll find in the um, side column a link to all of our different hubs and information about the diets that we provide. You can go there and get a meal plan and get started right away. Thank you. Have a great day.